Hello students, let's do ratio and proportion exercise 7a. Here on page number 97 and with question 18. Two numbers are in the ratio 4 is to 7. If their LCM is 168, find the numbers. So we've been given the ratio of the numbers and their LCM. We've not been given the numbers. We have to find what the actual numbers are. So the ratio between two numbers is given to us 4 is to 7. So let the first number be 4x. Okay, so from here, the first number be 4x. So the second number will be 7x. So let the second number be 7x. Then what else is given to us? LCM of the two numbers is given to us. So LCM is given as 168. Now, what is the LCM of these two numbers, 4x and 7x? That will be 4 into 7 into x. Okay, so 4 into 7 into x. Now multiply the numbers. 4 7s are 28. 28 into x is 28x. Okay, so 28 into x is 28x. Now 28x is equal to, the LCM that's given to us is 168. From this, we can find the value of x. So 168 divided by 28. So let's do that division. 168 divided by 28. Now let's try the tables of 28 into 6. 6 eights are 48, carry 4. 6 twos are 12, plus 4 is 16, so that's 168. So 28 into 6 is 168. So now we have found the value of x. So we said x is, we found out x to be 6. Now that we have found the value of x, we can find the value of the first number and the second number. So let's do that. So the first number we said is 4x. That means 4 into x. This is 4 into x. And 4 into, or how much is x? We found out x to be 6. So 4 sixes are 24. So we have found our first number. Our first number is 24. Now let's find the second number. Second number is 7x. That means 7 into x. So that will be 7 into x is 6. 7 sixes are 42. So we have found our second number. Our second number is 42. So we have found both the numbers. The numbers are 24 and 42. Question 19. Rupees 300 is divided between A and B in such a way that A gets half of B. So now we have to find two questions here. First one, the ratio between the shares of A and B and the second one is the actual share of A and B. How much did A get and how much did B get? So first one is the ratio between the shares. So first let's find this. Let's see what is given to us. Amount divided between A and B is 300 rupees is already given to us. Then let the share of B be X. Now, why did we put B first? Because here it says we don't know how much A is. It's half of B. So B has to be X. Only then we'll know how much A is. Isn't it? So let the share of B be X. That means the share of A will be half of B. Isn't it? That means 1 by 2 of means into and B is X. 1 by 2 into X. So now we can multiply 1 into x is x and x by 2. So this is the share of A. Now we have to find the ratio between the shares of A and B. That means we have to say A is to B. Now here A is x by 2. Isn't it? We found out A to be x by 2 is 2 and B is x. So now we are going to do this, work this out. x by 2, remember, Ratio is division also divided by x by 1. So this will be x by 2 into division changes to multiplication and we write the reciprocal 1 by x. Now we can cancel. I can cancel the x. So what is left is 1 by 2. 1 by 2 is a fraction. That means the ratio here is 1 is to 2. So we found the fraction and we got the ratio now between the shares of A and B. And what is the ratio between the shares of A and B? 1 is to 2. Now we have to find the second part of the question. So let's do that. 
So now the second part is we have to find the share of A and the share of B. So first thing we do is find the sum of the ratios and in the previous part we found out the ratio is 1 is to 2. So this is the ratio between A and B. Now to find the sum of the ratios we need to add up that 1 plus 2 is 3. So sum of the ratios is 3 and the amount divided between A and B is 300 rupees. Now with this information we can find the share of A. So the share of A is you take the first number here 1 for A and the second number for B. So we're going to take 1. So that will be 1 by the sum of the ratios which is 3 into the amount that is divided that is 300 rupees. Now we can cancel here. I can cancel 3 and 300. 3 ones are 3. 3 into 100 is 300. Now let's multiply the numerators. 1 into 100 is 100. So what is the share of A? 100 rupees. Now with this itself we can find the share of B. So that is we know the total amount is 300. A got 100. That means how much will B get? 300 minus 100. That is one way of doing it. The second way is this method that we did, the ratio method. So let's do that. Share of B. Now here we take the second number 2. Okay, the first number we took for A, the second number is for B. So let's take that. So that will be 2 by the sum of the ratios which is 3 into the amount which is 300. So again let's cancel. 3 ones are 3 and 3 into 100 is 300. Now multiply the numerators. 2 into 100 is 200. So now we found the share of B. B gets 200 rupees. So we found the share of A. A gets 100 rupees and we found out how much B gets. B gets 200 rupees. Question 20. The ratio between two numbers is 5 is to 9. Find the numbers if their HCF is 16. So what's given to us? The ratio between two numbers. So let the first number be 5x and the second number be 9x. Now HCF of 5x and 9x according to the question is 16. Now how do we find the HCF of 5x and 9x? Now suppose you have two numbers 5x and 9x. To find the HCF first you must find the factors, isn't it? What are the factors of 5x? 5 and x. 5 into x is 5x. So factors are 5 and x. What are the factors of 9x? 9, 9 and x but 9 we have to break it up into its prime numbers. So 3 3s are 9 isn't it? So 3 and x are the prime numbers. We don't have to. These are the factors. We don't have to repeat 3. So 3 3s are 9 and x is also there. Now what is common here? The only common thing is x. So the HCF is x. HCF of 5x and 9x is x. So here, in this part here, here it says HCF of 5x and 9x is equal to 16. That means x is equal to 16. So x is equal to 16. If x is equal to 16, now we can find our numbers. The first number according to this is 5x, isn't it? So 5x, that is 5 into 16. Now how much is that? Let's multiply 16 into 5. 5, 6 are 30. Carry 3. 5 ones are 5, 6, 7, 8. So the first number is 80. Now the second number is 9x. According to this, it's 9x. So 9x means 9 into x, that is 9 into 16. So let's multiply 16 into 9. 9, 6 are 54. Carry 5. 9 ones are 9 plus 5 is 14, 144. So the second number is 144. So what's our first number? First number is 80 and the second number is 144. Question 21. A bag contains 1600 rupees in the form of 10 rupee and 20 rupee notes. If the ratio between the numbers of 10 rupee and 20 rupee notes is 2 is to 3, find the total number of notes in all. Okay, so we have an amount that is 1600 rupees. Now in that, that is made up of 10 rupee notes and 20 rupee notes. And we've been given the ratio of 10, uh, the 10 rupee notes and the 20 rupee notes as 2 is to 3. Now we have to find the total number of notes in all. So let's begin. 
amount in the bag is given to us already it's 1600 rupees 1600 rupees then the ratio between the number of 10 rupee notes and 20 rupee notes is also given to us is 2 is to 3 now let the number of 10 rupee notes be 2x okay the first digit here is for the 10 rupee notes so 2x let that be 2x that means 20 rupee notes will be 3x okay now the value of one 10 rupee note if you have one 10 rupee note what is the value it's 10 rupees isn't it if you have one it's 10 rupees now if you have 2x here we are saying 2x let the number of 10 rupee notes be 2x if you have 2x 10 rupee notes then what is the value 2x 10 rupee notes that will be rupees 10 into 2x isn't it now let me say that again the value of one 10 rupee note if you have only one 10 rupee note what is the value 10 rupees suppose you have 2x 10 rupee notes what's the value 10 into 2x so how much will that be 10 into 2 is 20 and x so that will be rupees 20x so we've got the value of the 10 rupee notes now similarly what is the value of one 20 rupee note if you have only one 20 rupee note what is its value 20 rupees so if you have 3x 20 rupee notes what will that be that will be 20 rupees into 3x so what is that 20 into 3 is 60 60x so rupees 60x so now we know the value of the 10 rupee notes that are there and the value of the 20 rupee notes that are there okay now we need to use this to find the number of notes in all so we have 20x the value of 10 rupees 60x the value of uh, the 20 rupee notes and we've also been told that the bag contains totally the amount that is 1600 that means if i add up 20x and 60x i should get 1600 rupees so, so now we know 20x plus 60x should be equal to rupees 1600 so now let's add this up 20 plus 60 is 80 80 x is equal to 1600 now we can find the value of x on the right hand side we write 1600 as it is now we're going to transpose this 80 which is on the left hand side and it is multiplication we're going to take it to the right hand side so that will become division divided by 80 so let's divide 1600 by 80 we can cancel a zero to make our division easier so this is 160 divided by 8 8 twos are 16 minus 0 0 here again so now we have found the value of x so 1600 divided by 80 is 20 that means the value of x is 20 now we can find out how many 10 rupee and 20 rupee notes are there so the number of 10 rupee notes we have written as 2x that means 2 into x and 2 into what is the value of x we just found out x to be 20 2 into 20 which is 40 so how many 10 rupee notes do we have we have 40 10 rupee notes then we're going to find out how many 20 rupee notes are there that is 3x that is 3 into x which is 3 into x is 20 we're going to substitute so 3 into 20 3 twos are 6 at the 0 so the number of 20 rupee notes is 60 so we have 40 10 rupee notes and 60 20 rupee notes now the question is how many notes do we have in all that means the total number of notes so all we have to do is add up the number of 10 rupee notes and the number of six, uh, 20 rupee notes so together we get 40 plus 60 which is 100 so we've answered a question the total number of notes that are there is 100 question 22 the ratio between the prices of a scooter and a refrigerator is 4 is to 1 if the scooter costs 45000 rupees more than the refrigerator find the price of the refrigerator okay so let's go slowly with this one ratio between the prices of a scooter and a refrigerator is given to us so first is scooter and second is refrigerator the order is the same here also 
So, let the cost of the scooter be 4x. Because scooter comes first, we'll take the first number, 4x. That means the cost of the refrigerator will be 1x. Okay, so we've, uh, we've uh, taken the cost of scooter to be 4x and the refrigerator to be 1x. Then, the cost of the scooter is greater than the cost of the refrigerator. How do we know that? It's given in the question, if the cost, if the scooter costs 45,000 rupees more, that means cost of the scooter is more than the cost of a refrigerator. By how much? By 45,000. That means the difference between a scooter and the refrigerator's cost will be 45,000 rupees. So let's write that. So that means 4x is the cost of the scooter, isn't it? Here we said 4x. And if we find the difference between that and the cost of the refrigerator, that is 1x, that will be equal to 45,000 rupees. So, 4x minus 1x is 45,000 rupees. So, now let's calculate the value of x. 4x minus 1x. 4 minus 1 is 3. So, 3x is equal to 45,000. So, now we're going to find the value of x. So 3x means 3 into x. So we're going to remove x from here. And on the other side, we have 45,000 as it is. Now we're going to take 3 to the right-hand side, so it becomes division. So 45,000 divided by 3. So we can divide this. So let's do that division. 45,000 divided by 3. 3 ones are 3 minus 1, 5, 15. 3 fives are 15 minus we have zero here then we can carry these zeros up one two three so we've got fifteen thousand that means the value of x is fifteen thousand so that is rupees fifteen thousand so now we have to find the price of the refrigerator so Cost of the refrigerator, we said, is 1x, isn't it? So, 1x means 1 into x, 1 into x, and we found out x to be 15,000 rupees. So, 1 into 15,000 rupees. So, 1 into 15,000 is 15,000 itself. So, the cost of the refrigerator is 15,000 rupees. So, this is our answer. We've been asked to find only the cost of the refrigerator. So, our final answer is 15,000 rupees. So with this children, we come to the end of this exercise. Thank you children.